Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy. Today's video is actually two weeks worth of grocery hauls, so I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Today I have three grocery deliveries to share with you. I have Walmart, Aldi, and Publix. My Publix and Aldi have not arrived yet, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the Walmart. All right, so I ordered some more tortilla chips for Jason and the girls and some more juice for their lunches at school they'll be starting school back this week they've been on spring break uh, I like this kind because there's no added sugar and it's just simple ingredients it's a hundred percent apple juice it's really good they enjoy it I also picked up these bars they've never had these it's the kind kids bars the chocolate chip and then peanut butter chocolate chip there's only five added grams of sugar in each bar so that's not too bad I also got some more of the Jack Link's uh, beef sticks for them they really like these in their lunch for Amelia I'll go ahead and start to open it just a little bit because it is a little bit harder for her to get it open. And Jason was almost out of his protein powder and he really liked this kind. I bought this the last time I had a Walmart order and he really liked it. So I got some more of that. And I'm running low on hamburger meat again already even though I bought a 10 pound roll of it from Sam's. Um, we just eat a lot of ground beef, so I did go ahead and get another 10 pounds of it, and I'll just separate this in one pound packages. And I got some potatoes for everybody, and we were almost out of Kraft Singles. We go through cheese like crazy, um, just making sandwiches for the kids' lunch and everything, because I had bought a big three pack of this from Sam's one day and we're almost out of it now so I had to get another pack of that and then I got two of the beef smoked sausages I really like these I like having these on hand because sometimes if I don't want to cook what's on the meal plan or we just need something super fast these are really easy I can throw them on the grill I can put them in some cabbage and cook it up that way it's really good so I got four of the smoked sausage. I had ordered two of the Cajun, but they didn't have it, so they substituted two of them with the smoked sausage. If you hear anything, I, the dishwasher is running, so you know it's making that gurgling noise in the sink. And I got two uh, of the Rayo's marinara sauce and then one of the Alfredo. I haven't tried their Alfredo. I usually make my own Alfredo sauce, but uh, I think it was Jen Chapin said it was pretty good so I'm gonna try that and that's it from Walmart they didn't have let's see I ordered egg roll wraps because Jason wants to try to make something with them but they didn't have those they didn't have the frozen grouper so I'll have to go to Publix because I didn't order it from Publix so I have to order it from there um, or go inside this week and what else I think that was it just those two items they didn't have and then they substituted the sausage so as soon as my Publix and Audi gets here I will show you all of that okay so my Publix order just arrived and it worked out really well I was putting the Walmart stuff away whenever the Publix was delivered so the Publix deli tea was buy one get one free so I got two of those I got the diet sweet tea and the olive oil was buy one get one free normally i get the extra light tasting virgin olive oil um, i forgot to check it this time though but this is fine we'll still use it and i got some of these chicken in a basket no chicken in a biscuit so my sister-in-law was over yesterday and we were talking about our Publix order and somehow we started talking about this and she said they were really, really good. So I've never had them. So I thought I would get them for the kids and see if they like them with um, like their tuna and stuff like that. Bella's been eating a lot of tuna, those little pouches. Oh, I didn't get any more, Belle. And you still have three or four in the pantry but <laughs> anyways I got this I thought they would like it so we'll give it a try and then the chicken the chicken boneless skinless chicken breast 
uh, with rib meat was buy one get one free so I got one of the bigger packs this is four pounds so I got two packs of that and I'll just separate these it's boneless skinless breast with rib meat normally I don't have chicken breast with rib meat but this is fine it's a good deal um, it's four sixty nine a pound so not too bad and I, like I said it's four pounds and I'm not sure what the other package is it's probably close to that as well but they were buy one get one free so um, I don't really need chicken but when it's BOGO like this you know I'm just going to go ahead and separate it and put it in the deep freeze and we'll have it later or I might go ahead and make up some marinades and stuff and freeze it that way I don't know yet and then these are new to me i've never had these before i don't think um, i thought it was going to be a bigger bag but that's okay these were also buy one get one free so i thought i would try the southwestern style and then this one is just the original roasted this one has zero carbs the or southwestern style one has three grams of carbs which is fine but i thought this week for work i could cut some more of these up in smaller pieces and put it in a salad and have that for lunch when i'm working and then the goldfish was buy one get one free so i got two of those the uh, lobster small lobster tails these were on sale so i got three of those and then the raisins they were buy one get one free so i got two of those jason goes through raisins like crazy and then the duncan hines cake mix was buy one get one free so i got the classic white and then a butter golden i'm gonna make cupcakes for easter and i got some cute little um like easter picks to go in the cupcakes so i thought that would be fun to make for easter and that's everything from Publix. All right, so you guys have already seen the Walmart and Publix order. I was still waiting on my Aldi order. I ended up having to go inside Aldi and actually shop, which of course I ended up spending more money than what I had on my original order. No one was picking up the order whenever I had it through Instacart. So they sent me a message and said that my delivery was gonna be pushed back to one o'clock which I was like, okay, that's fine. Then one o'clock it came and it went and I had no groceries from Aldi. Then it said three o'clock and then it said 4.30. Finally, I messaged Instacart and was like, hey, what's going on? I don't have my order yet. It was supposed to be here 10 to 11. What's the deal? Am I gonna get my order? So they messaged back and said they had a shortage of Instacart shoppers for yesterday. And I was like, okay, well, am I gonna get my order today or not? And they said, um, you should, and it should be delivered by 4.30. 4.30, nothing came. No, nobody was shopping my order or anything. So finally, around like five or something, there was a lady that picked up the order. She goes to Aldi. She messaged me, messages me and says, they don't have any of the plants that you ordered, which was fine. It was one of those things that, you know, if they had it, they had it. If they didn't, they didn't. It was fine. I didn't need them. You know, I just wanted more plants. But then she went on. I was like, that's fine. Go ahead and, and finish shopping. Then she says, their refrigerators are broken. So she couldn't get any of the cold items, which most of my order was produce and refrigerated items. So she was like, do you want me to cancel the order or do you want to reschedule? And I was like, just cancel it. I'll go tomorrow after work and shop for the stuff myself. So I'm gonna take you in here and show you everything that we picked up. So at Publix, I ordered the Honey Nut Cheerios because they were on BOGO, but they didn't have any. So I went ahead and got a box from Aldi. And then I got some chicken noodle soup. Sometimes if I fix something for dinner and the kids don't like it, they like to have chicken noodle soup. Amelia saw the sausage, egg and cheese croissantwiches and asked for those, so I picked those up. And I was thinking that they had a lot of added sugar in them, but they don't. They only have, I don't think they had any, uh, no zero added sugars in them. So I went ahead and bought a box of those. And then 
I saw these the last time I bought these we got watermelon and Amelia really liked it so I got the watermelon and fruit punch this time so she can try those and then we saw some shells and cheese mac and cheese so I let them get a box of that and these are new to me I thought that I would try these out they're like little uh, breakfast egg bites um, there's no antibiotics, no added hormones, uh, good source of calcium. There's only four grams of net carbs in them, so it looks pretty good. Um, so I picked up those to try. And then over spring break, I bought the kids a five cheese pizza, and they really liked it. I sent it down to my mother-in-law's house because she was uh, watching them for me. So they really liked it. So when we saw it, they asked for another one. So that'll be good for like, you know, fast food Friday. Um, you know, I may fix this for them. And Amelia saw the cheese balls and wanted some cheese balls. And then I needed some more uh, mild cheddar cheese. We still have a little bit left from Sam's, but I, went up, I wanted to go ahead and get another pack just so we didn't run out. And then the eggs, they were 85 cents each for a dozen eggs. So there was a limit of six. So I did get six dozen of eggs. I'm going to be doing the eggs for Easter and then I'm gonna make some deviled eggs and then I just like to have a lot of eggs on hand because sometimes we eat breakfast for dinner or whatever and then I needed some more strawberries we were completely out of strawberries and I got some more romaine lettuce and asparagus and bananas Amelia saw the mandarin oranges and wanted those and I got some more just regular iceberg lettuce. I like to just mix the two whenever I make salads and stuff. So I just got a head of lettuce and then the romaine lettuce. And a couple of weeks ago, I think, I ordered some jalapenos. I was going to make jalapeno poppers and they gave me like two peppers. So I went ahead and got a bag of them. So I think I'm going to make some of these tonight with some cream cheese on the inside and maybe wrap some bacon around it. And this is new to me. I've never seen these before. It's three mini pizza crust and they're thin and it has the sauce packets inside. And there's only three grams of added sugar. I thought this would be a good snack after school or for dinner one night if they the kids didn't like what I was cooking. I know I ordered the big pizza, but this can go in the pantry and you don't have to worry about it spoiling or anything. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you can add, you know, your own cheese and stuff like that on it. So we got lots of mozzarella out in the garage in the deep freeze. And then I wanted to get some more ham for sandwiches. And Amelia saw the raspberries and said she really wanted some. They were still kind of pricey. They were over $2 for this little carton, but she eats them. It's good for her. So she really likes the raspberries. And then I saw some zucchini and I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. Maybe I'll saute it tonight. We're supposed to have salmon and rice for Jason and the girls. And um, I didn't really know what I was gonna fix for myself for a side. And then I saw these. I'm not gonna be eating them, but I thought Jason would like them. They're cheddar herb biscuit mix. They look good. Uh, so I thought I would make these maybe tonight with the salmon I know that's kind of an odd um pair but actually not really because you know you go to red lobster and you get cheddar biscuits there so that'll be good with salmon so and oh come back down here <laughs> I got two slabs of uh, baby back pork ribs these were $3.39 a pound so and they're almost four pounds I've never had this before. It's uh, Black Angus beef for carne piccata. I guess that's how you say it. Um, it says it's terrific for tacos, so I thought we could try this for Taco Tuesday instead of using like just regular ground beef. And then I saw this cute little silicone whisk. It's pink, very cute. I don't remember how much it was, like maybe a couple of dollars. 
but I don't have a silicone whisk and when I'm using um, cooking in my Dutch oven and stuff I don't want to use the metal ones and scratch it so that's what I got so definitely spent more than what I wanted to but that happens every single time I go inside the store um, we did get some pretty good stuff though and like the eggs I had only picked out four because they were 95 cents on the app but in the store they were 85 cents so which that store that we went to they tend to be cheaper than the other stores I don't know so that is all that is everything I just received my Publix delivery order. I did order it through Instacart and they were probably thinking, man, these people really like fish. <laughs> I did get a ton of fish actually. Um, I got two bags of orange roughy and then two things of sword swordfish. I don't know if I like this or not. I've never had it before, but we're going to give it a try. Jason said that he saw a recipe that he wanted to try out with it, so we'll try that one day. And then I got some tuna steaks and a bag of shrimp. Um, we always get the large, peeled and deveined. Uh, it has the tail on. And then I also got some apple juice for Amelia. This is no sugar added, no high fructose corn syrup or anything. Um, this isn't what I ordered. I actually ordered the Paw Patrol juice pouches like I've been getting, but they didn't have it. So they substituted it with this, which is organic and probably cost a lot more than the Paw Patrol. But she needed some juice to pack in her lunch for school this week. And then I saw this salad. It just looked so good. It's by Boar's Head, and it's um, it's a chef salad. Boar's Head Bold Chef Salad is what it's called. And it just looked so good. I know I can make it. Those cucumbers are not looking the greatest, but I know I could make it myself. But it just looked really good. And I thought, oh, it would be nice just to go ahead and have lunch made for tomorrow for work. Um, I won't be eating the olives. I'll probably just go ahead and take those out and give them to the kids and let them have them. I don't like black olives at all. And then I ordered some more deli pepperoni. I love that stuff. And I also got some more Boar's Head All-American Barbecue Chicken. This is really good in salads and on sandwiches. And I needed some pizza sauce. They didn't have the pizza sauce of the Rayos, but he substituted it with the marinara, which is fine. I'm gonna make some um, chicken crust pizzas this week. I'll share that in a video um, if they turned out good. And then I wanted to make some Brussels sprouts later in the week, so I got a bag of those. And I've never had these. These are new to me, so I don't know what they're gonna taste like. It's blazing buffalo chicken sausage, and it's by Boar's Head. So I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if I'll put it on the grill, or I'm not sure. I'll probably grill them. And then I ordered two things of uh, salmon, and I think that's it. So you, we usually have like a seafood Saturday, and I just really wanted to have a variety of fish. We're not gonna eat all of this all in one day, but I just wanted to have a, more of a variety of fish. I still have some lobster tail in the freezer, so we'll have that as well with maybe one or two pieces of each of these. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but that's everything from Publix. I do have two Walmart orders coming. I had placed my order and then I thought of some other things that I needed non-food items. So I had to make another order and I didn't get it in quick enough before my time was up on being able to add in items. So I have two more uh, deliveries coming. So I'll show you those whenever they get here. Okay, so my Walmart order just arrived, one of them. The second one that's non-food items has not arrived yet. So I got a dozen eggs. I still had two dozen out in the garage refrigerator, but I just like to keep them on hand because we eat a lot of eggs around here. And I ordered another one of these um, Happy Foodie southwestern style chicken bowl if you watched my um 
what was it called what I title it working moms day off clean with me video you will have seen I added this in there because I was getting hungry and wanted some lunch these are really good and now that I'm looking at this I actually ordered the shepherd's pie as well and I didn't get it so I'll have to go back and look at my receipt these are new to me i've never seen these before sometimes when i'm looking at the walmart app i'll type in the word keto and there's like tons of foods that will pop up and this popped up this time like i said i've never seen it before they're kind of like the i'm assuming these are like the parmesan wisp or i can't think of another brand or whatever but this is the nacho flavor and then I also got a cheddar, no, Taco Supreme flavor. So I'm excited to try these. That will be interesting. And then I'm in the process of smoking some ribs and Jason is the one that gets the rub and all that stuff on there. Um, he's really good at it, but he used up all of the brown sugar. So he asked if I could get some more brown sugar and we were running low on butt rub um that's the name of it and it's got a pig on it and i had ordered that <laughs> amelia's laughing i had ordered that and they substituted it with this but then whenever i saw the substi substitution i said um just refund but it's still in the pack or in the bags so i don't know i guess we can try it and see if it's any good if not you know I'll order the butt rub again and for a particular recipe it called for chicken breast in a can and then I wanted <laughs> one pound of bananas and they gave me one banana so I guess the kids will just have to fight over the one banana <laughs> And then I picked up another, or I ordered another seafood snackers. Jason really likes these. I think Bella liked them as well. Um, they're just little sticks. I lost a nail. They're just little sticks, um, crab, crab meat sticks. And they like to eat these for a little snack or put it in their lunch. And then I ordered two Roma tomatoes. And I got two cucumbers. I ended up getting the regular cu cucumbers instead of the English cucumbers. And it's so funny how much bigger the English cucumbers are compared to a regular cucumber. <laughs> These are really tiny. And then I got two things of asparagus. We're going to have asparagus a couple of nights this week. And Bella has been loving the tuna creations, uh, the little tuna packs. So... I don't think she's tried this one so we're gonna try this one or she did like it I, I don't remember it's the sweet and spicy and then she got the sunflower oil the hickory um, smoked I think that one's gonna be good and then herb and garlic we also ordered a honey barbecue I think was what it was called but they didn't have it so she didn't get that one and I needed some more American cheese and some Parmesan cheese. This is for that recipe that I needed the cans of chicken. Um, I have some in the refrigerator, but I'm running low. So I went ahead and got this big, huge bottle of it. And you guys, we are completely out of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. Is that crazy or what? Because y'all know how much we love our cheese around here. And that is something I never run out of, but we did today or over the weekend so and then I also needed some more mustard Jason uses mustard on the um, ribs and he said we were almost completely out so I ordered some more of that and that is it for the food items from Walmart as soon as the non-food items arrive I will show you all of that my second Walmart order just arrived and I got this googly toss game Amelia's teacher had asked if we could send in some outside toys and balls or and chalk and things for them to play with at recess because they're still not allowed to play on the school equipment, which in my opinion is absolutely crazy, but whatever. Anyways, that's just my opinion. So I got this. Um, like I said, this is from Walmart. This was $20. See how it is. Googly toss game. So 
that's kind of neat and then I got four balls I was gonna get more but then because that game was $20 I was like eh, I'll just get four of the balls these are the they're super cheap like a dollar maybe dollar 18 or something I don't know Amelia needed a soccer ball so that we could practice at home she needed a size three so I got her this one and then Bella needed a new one her old one was a size four now she needs a size five so we got that and I also got a net so that they can practice uh, making goals so that is all of my non-food items and I wanted to update you on these. These are really, really good. Um, this one is okay, but the Taco Supreme, really good. So if you see these and you're keto or you just want a good little snack, these are really good. So give them a try. So that wraps up these two weeks of grocery hauls. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.